Hey, it's Colin here, and it's time for Tip Tuesday. This week, I'm going to show you how to select layers. All right, so you're working in a layered document. You've got a whole ton of layers. I'm going to show you a quick way to quickly select whichever layer you want and move it around and then get back to working. So there's a number of different ways to select your layers inside a document. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my layers panel here and just drag it up so we can have a look at it. And in this document here, I did this kind of little collage thing. And you can see there's a whole ton of layers here. And as you can see, I've carefully labeled these uh, layer eight, layer 12. So I'm just kind of joking. Uh, but sometimes you want to select these. So one of the ways maybe you're doing it right now is you're clicking here and you're saying, OK, there we go. That's where that one is. So now if I click on there, I can move that around. I'm going to show you a quicker way. So what you're going to do is you're going to be taking advantage of the control key or the command key. So if you want to select something, hold down the control key and then move over that object and then click on it. And now I can select that object. So once again, hit the control, the command key, and that'll select that particular layer. Now there's another way we can do this is if we just hold down the control key or the command key, we can literally click and drag these different elements like this. See that we're just literally clicking on them and dragging them around right there. I just uh, selected the background. So I'm just going to undo this a few times and we're going to go back here. So that's the way that most of the time I actually work. So I just want something. I just control command, click it. And there we go. I've got that layer and then I work on it and it also shows it there. Now there's another way you can do it. If you find this is a little bit um, more difficult for you, what you can do is turn on auto select and show transform controls. And then what happens now is wherever you click now, it's going to show that particular layer. So you can see it this way now. Um, you could turn off the show transform and then that way you just select it and just all I'm doing is clicking. Now, I don't necessarily like this behavior because it can get in the way when I'm working. So one of the things you could do is show transform controls, turn that off. And then once again, just use that control key or the command key. Now, I prefer to do that control command key because I can select those layers uh, rather than accidentally, you know, because for example, if I have this auto select on all the time and I select this and I'm doing something and then I want to work, it can get a little weird. But once again, if you like to work that way, you can work that way. Um, and I'm now going to show you in here, there's two options too. There's layers and there's groups. So this could be kind of useful. So say, for example, I'm going to grab these and I'm just going to convert these into a group. So I'm just going to hit control G or command G and you can see it now I've got a group. So if I'm trying to select these now and I'll turn off the auto select and I'll turn off that and I click and, uh, you know, we can click in here. We can get individual layers. No problem there. But now if we go up here and we select something that's within a group, that whole group now will move together. So if you're trying to select an individual layer and you see that whole group moving, which is great for little clusters of text and objects such as here, you may want to put those in groups that works really well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to undo it there. So once again, if you want to select that group, turn it to group, otherwise layer. So if you get weird behavior, that's why. Now I'm going to show you one other way of doing this, and that's actually to command and uh, drag. So I can hit the control or the command key and click and drag. And notice as I'm dragging, these layers are actually being added to the selected layers. So that's another way of doing it. Now, sometimes when you're doing this, though, you'll find things like the background get uh, selected a lot. And these can get in the way. So what you can do sometimes if you're worried about that, see that background right there, and it's kind of overriding a lot of these selections. What you can do is just turn it on and then you can just lock it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go up, hit that lock. And now we can't select that background. So I can control click in here, but notice that's also being selected. So that's like a little mesh that goes over the top of everything. So once again, just lock that. And if you can try and do this, you'll notice that eventually we get to a point now where we can select these elements together. And maybe you want to move these elements together all the time, or maybe just these two here. Uh, actually, let me just control click away and control drag collect. And notice I'm selecting them. So these are all just kind of coming together. So I could hit control G if I wanted, and I could group those. And now I can just select those individually. So let me just drag that back. So if I go up here and I choose group, and I'm just going to control click away right now. And if I click on one of these and then within that group, that whole group moves. If I go to layer and I control click 
Now I can select those individual layers from within that group. And if I choose the group, I can still move it. So that's a lot of different types of selections there. Um, and I know this was a little bit longer than what we usually do for the Tip Tuesday, but I really wanted to show you all those little selection tips. And I think you're gonna find this to be super, super useful. Hey, I just wanna thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something that was useful. Every week I'm adding a new tip and new tutorials from Photoshop Cafe. So make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. I'll wait for you to do it. That way you can become a subscriber and be reminded of all the fresh new content that we're adding here at Photoshop Cafe. Okay, now that you're a subscriber, hit the like button and also add a comment, join in the discussion. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe. That's photoshopcafe.com.